been acting strange for the past week. You no longer use your cards. You still haven't changed out of your party dress. Everything that once made you happy no longer interests you. Is this because of Daryl? What happened on your birthday? April 2nd. Daryl came over to my birthday and gave me my own pair of ruby slippers. I wanted to read another chapter from the book, but Daryl wanted to wait for my parents. And I didn't want to, so I tried to take the book away from him and I accidentally hit him. Daddy said a little kiss would make a boo-boo go bye-bye, so I tried to kiss Daryl to make him feel better. He ran away. And then Mommy got mad at me because I wouldn't tell her what happened. She and Daddy wouldn't stop yelling. March 27th. Mommy was sick today and spent most of the day inside. She was very grumpy. Now that I think about it, she doesn't really smile around me anymore. December 25th. Dear Santa, I said I wanted a voice for Christmas. Why did you give me another useless toy instead? I'm not the baby. November 16th. Mommy complains about me a lot. She thinks that I don't listen to her or understand her, but I do. I just don't respond. I didn't even respond when she called me disturbed back when I was only three years old. Even if I did tell her how I feel, she'll never listen. Who listens to kids? Daddy doesn't do anything whenever Mommy yells at me. He just stands there and looks at her. I think he's afraid of her. I'm a disappointment. Is it, I mean, I mean, you're a girl. 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 You're a
don't expect me to give you a proper farewell. So 
I either ask first or let them lean in. And I have my gloves on now, so I won't shock you. Can I give you a hug? Yes, you can hug me. Let's go, Tessa. You have a long talk.
Do you want to finish it? Can it wait? Well, we have about 10 minutes before the bus arrives. There's only one chapter left, and it's less than half a page long. I don't think Tessa wants to watch us act out a children's book. Actually, I don't mind at all. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Anne had just come out of the house to water the cabbages when she saw Dorothy running towards her. Oh, my precious child, she screamed, holding <laughs> the little girl in her arms and covering her face with kisses. <laughs> Where on earth have you been? Oh, from the land of Oz, said Dorothy. Oh, and here's Toto, too. I'm so glad to be home again. <laughs> Thank you. 